Xiaomi just refuses to stay out of the limelight. After back-to-back -back successes of its other phones, it has now come out with the Redmi Note 4. This beefy smartphone has the specs of a mid-ranger and the price of a very affordable handset. And there are different models to suit your budget, but we're gonna give you the impressions of the top model, which comes with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. The Redmi Note 4 is more stylish than the Redmi Note 3, and it's competing against amazing phones from the most volatile category in the Indian smartphone market. Let's see how well equipped it is to win this battle. I'm Sohil Nikam, you're watching the Tech Shout channel on YouTube, and this is a review of the Redmi Note 4. The Redmi Note 4 has a host of design changes over the Redmi Note 3. This design looks much more refined and well thought out. The glass is 2.5D instead of being flat and this provides slight relief to your palms while holding it. And instead of a backfiring speaker, there's a bottom facing speaker with two grills. I know, a front facing speaker would have been way better, but it just doesn't seem to fit in Xiaomi's current design blueprint. Anyways, the edges have been made flatter. And it's not to say that they are not comfortable, but the curvier edges of the Redmi Note 3 went easier on the palms than these ones. The buttons are very clicky and the Note 4 has retained the IR blaster from its predecessor. Another thing that it has retained is the hybrid SIM slot. The back gets the same appearance as many other phones out there. You'll find a 13 megapixel camera there apart from a flash and a fingerprint scanner. The front is also very typical, with the highlights here being the 5.5 inch Full HD display and the 5 megapixel selfie camera. The Redmi Note 4 is very comfortable to hold and operate. Its 165 gram weight is surprisingly low considering that a 4100 mAh battery has gone inside it. There's little to worry about sharpness when a 5.5 inch panel meets 1080p resolution. You can rest assured of getting crystal clear and vivid visuals. Plus, the brightness is also slightly improved over that of the Note 3's display. The speaker is considerably loud, and while it's good with its highs and lows, it struggles with its mids. So listening to music on this speaker isn't that satisfying an experience. The headphone audio, on the other hand, is great though. There's nothing new in the software if you've ever used MIUI 8 before. The interface is still very heavy, but there are tons of useful features that make the software irresistible. These include dual apps, which lets you use two accounts on a single app, and second spaces, which creates a completely separate space on your phone, complete with the ability to use a different Google account there. And then there's the new scrolling screenshot feature, which lets you capture long screenshots. Something that you'll observe that is new in MIUI 8 is when you open a folder, a list of promoted apps appears at the bottom. Thankfully, this is easy to disable. And that's the least of the problems that MIUI 8 has. Its Bluetooth management is just very shabby. Each time I clear all my recent apps, my Samsung Gear S3 gets disconnected from it even if I lock its companion app. Another bug that hasn't been resolved since ages is the ever so annoying notification icon on voice search which is there for no reason at all. And there's yet another recent problem of the File Explorer app shamelessly crashing each time you try to open it. The 13 megapixel camera on the Redmi Note 4 is very satisfying to click pictures with. However, it's not excellent by all means and it does have its limitations. While it provides you with superb dynamic range, it struggles when it comes to rendering details. Now this is not something that's very evident when you look at your images from a distance, but those with a keen interest in mobile photography will indeed notice it. In low light, the camera does a good job at capturing the available light. But here too, the lack of detailing is strongly felt. The front camera has a 5 megapixel sensor and it shoots excellent selfies, albeit only in well-lit environments. Head into a dimly lit setting and you won't get the expected image quality. The video quality is average and although there's no optical image stabilization, the videos you get are very well captured considering the price of this handset. The Octa-Core Snapdragon 625 processor will be paired with 2GB, 3GB or 4GB of RAM on the Redmi Note 4 depending on the model you choose. We tested the 4GB RAM variant and the performance on this one is nice. You won't face any issues with the handling of heavy tasks. But the ever so slight lags that plague MIUI phones due to the heavy nature of the software are still felt on this one. Then again, barring that, the pure raw performance of the Redmi Note 4 is excellent 
it can handle heavy apps like a champ. With games too, it doesn't blink an eye while rendering excellent frame rates. The fingerprint scanner on this phone is fast, but it's definitely not the fastest one around. As for the battery life, it's one area where the Redmi Note 4 left me very impressed. The 4100 mAh cell inside it is definitely capable of lasting more than a day. The average battery life with regular use is up to one and a half day. But if you're careful enough with your usage, you can indeed stretch it to two days. After giving us the Redmi Note 3 last year, a little more than this was expected from the Redmi Note 4. I'm not saying it's not a good enough phone, but it's not the best in its category unlike its predecessor with the likes of the Honor 6X and the Moto G4 Plus around. The performance is excellent but the software is still heavy and buggy. The design and display though are top notch and the same can be said about the battery life. Its camera, it could have been better. The Redmi Note 4 gets 3.5 out of 5 stars.